The exhibit is called We Wear the Mask, the black heroes and sheroes of the comic book universe. And it helps celebrate the importance of black superheroes. The walls of this room in the Purdue Black Cultural Center are covered with comic books featuring black characters. There's a lot of push for like Barbies for people who look like you and there's, I mean, dolls, but you don't really see a push for things that, I mean, other kids are interested in. So I think that like having black superheroes is a huge thing because that's something that black kids grow up on. Black Panther is the star of this collection on loan from a University of Kentucky professor. My son, it is your time. The exhibit coincides with the Black Panther movie about to hit theaters. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know that I have words. <laughs> Bill Case can't contain his excitement for what Black Panther represents. We've had generations of kids who've grown up on Marvel and all of these superheroes, but now we're going to have a generation of kids who are actually going to see this guy and understand that uh, there are black heroes in the Marvel Universe. It's actually nice seeing a superhero that looks, kind of, that looks just like me. So Comic books are they're resurging more than ever. Um, in popularity, so I definitely think more African American kids will benefit and um, definitely pick up a comic book as a result of this movie. Many of these comic books also have black female superheroes to attract young readers. I think that it is like a way for them to get interested in reading and just exploring their imagination and so that they can see that they really that th black people can really be anything. The Black Panther movie opens nationwide next Friday. In West Lafayette, I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.